Where did India's nuclear program equipped with nuclear power reach? What happened in 76 years? Nuclear power program of India. Nuclear fuel deal of 10,500 rupees crore has been signed between India and Russia. Through this deal, India has to get fuel and other equipment from Russia for Kudankulam power plant. India plans to set up six units in this plant. This will be India's largest nuclear power plant. On the pretext of the deal between India and Russia, let us know that India how did the nuclear program start and where has it reached now. A nuclear deal between India and Russia remains a topic of discussion at this time. Under this deal of 10,500 rupees crore, India is to get fuel and other equipment from Russia for Kudankulam power plant. India plans to set up six units in this plant. If all these are completed, then its capacity will be 6,000 megawatts. This will be India's largest nuclear power plant. On the pretext of the deal between India and Russia, let us know how India's nuclear program started and where it has reached now. Dr. Homi Jahangir Bhabha started. If India is included in the category of nuclear-rich countries of the world today, then all the credit goes to Dr. Homi Jahangir Bhabha. That is why he is called the father of the Indian nuclear program. This was at a time when the burden of the country was on the shoulders of Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Dr. Bhabha somehow persuaded him that a nuclear program should be started in the country. After this, the Atomic Energy Act was passed from Parliament in April 1948. Dr. Bhabha was made the director of India's nuclear program. Under this Atomic Energy Act, the Indian Atomic Energy Commission was formed. The first nuclear reactor was built in 1956. The country's first nuclear reactor was developed in the year 1956 under the leadership of Dr. Bhabha, director of the Atomic Energy Commission. Its name was Apsara. Lal Bahadur Shastri became the prime minister of the country after Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. He was against nuclear weapons. However, they were prepared to use nuclear fuel in some way to meet their energy needs. The Apsara reactor was designed and built by India but the fuel was supplied by Britain through a special agreement. After this, in the year 1960, with the help of Canada, India started its second nuclear reactor Cyrus. In October 1969, India started generating electricity from nuclear energy. When two nuclear reactors were started in Tarapur, Tarapur Nuclear Electric Station was built by the American company General Electric. With this, Tarapur started supplying the lowest cost non-hydro electricity in the country. Homi Bhabha, the father of the Indian nuclear program, started this program by persuading former Prime Minister Pandit Nehru. Second nuclear power plant to be built in Rajasthan. In August 1972, when the first unit of India's second nuclear electric power plant, built near Kota in Rajasthan, started functioning, another chapter was added in this direction. The first two units of this power plant in Rajasthan were also set up with Canadian assistance. Then the country's third nuclear power plant was built in Kalpakkam near Chennai. It is India's first fully indigenous nuclear power its home. With the commissioning of the first indigenous unit of the Madras nuclear power station in July 1983, India joined the League of Countries in designing and manufacturing nuclear power units on its own. India rebuilds nuclear power plants. The country's fourth nuclear power was built on the banks of the Ganga at Narora in Uttar Pradesh. Its first unit was inaugurated in October 1989. In the subsequent 20 years, India installed 11 units of 220 megawatts and two units of 540 megawatt each with indigenous technology. Not only this, to further strengthen its nuclear power, India has used enriched uranium as fuel. An agreement was signed with the then Soviet Union in 1988 for setting up to 1000 megawatts units, but the project was stopped two years later due to the disintegration of the Soviet Union. There was an agreement with the Soviet Union. It was in the year 1998, India and Russia had decided to start this project once again and work was going on to start its first unit that in March 2011, there was a nuclear accident in Fukushima, Japan. Due to this, people around this nuclear plant started opposing the project. It took a long time to convince them. 
The plant is located in Tirunelveli district of Tamil Nadu. It is located 4 km south of Kudankulam village in Radhapuram Taluka. Due to this, its first unit was commissioned in the year 2013 to 2014 and the second in 2016. The capacity of Kudankulam plant will be the highest in the country. A total of six units are to be built in Kudankulam, for which Russia will supply fuel. Two units are already operational. Now both countries have moved forward on the agreement of 10,500 rupees crore with Russia for the supply of fuel for the third and fourth units. After the commissioning of two more units of this plant, its capacity will be 6,000 megawatts electricity generation and it will become the largest nuclear power plant in the country will. How much does it cost to produce electricity? Talking about the current situation, India has 21 nuclear reactor units. Electricity is supplied from these nuclear power plants at the rate of 2 to 3.5 rupees per kilowatt per hour. It is also worth noting that the cost of electricity from Tarapur is 1 rupee per kilowatt per hour. For units 1 and 2 of Kudankulam it is about 4 rupees per kilowatt per hour. Not only this, now a 900 megawatts reactor is also being designed in India. The Bhaba Atomic Research Center has already designed one of its 300 megawatts reactors, which will use thorium as fuel. India is also a nuclear power country. India uses nuclear energy not only to meet the needs of electricity, but today it is also standing in the line of countries equipped with nuclear bombs. India tested its first atomic bomb on 8 May 1974. After this, on the 11th and 13th May 1998, India conducted three successful nuclear tests one after the other in Pokhran, Rajasthan. Since then, India has been using the atomic bomb. Countries with potential include if you like this video, then like, share and subscribe.